Now, part of what you need to know for your flight planning are the winds and temperatures aloft forecasts. When you get the winds and temperature aloft forecast, the wind direction will be given to you relative to true north, the wind speed will be given to you in knots, and the temperature will be given to you in degrees C. Let's take a look now at this figure. This is our forecast, winds and temperatures aloft. Notice that locations are down the left side, and we've got a whole bunch of altitudes going across to the right. 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, and so on. Let's take a look now at Kansas City, which is MKC. And we want to look at the winds and temperatures aloft forecast for Kansas City, and we want to take a look at them for 6,000 feet. So here's Kansas City, and here's 6,000 feet, so this is the group of digits. Now, in the winds and temperatures aloft forecast, the first two digits are the wind direction. So the wind is from 20, and you add a zero to it for 200 or 200 degrees and that's relative to true north. The second two digits are the wind speed so the speed is 06 or 6 knots and then we've got the forecast temperature at that altitude which is a plus 3 degrees Celsius. Now the winds are given to you uh, from true north for weather purposes. The only time you're going to get a magnetic wind is for takeoff and landing purposes, and you'll get that from the tower or the ATIS. So this is a wind from 200 degrees true. Now notice that at the 3,000 foot level, there's no temperatures for either Kansas City or St. Louis. That's because they don't give temperatures in the winds and temperatures aloft forecast when you're close to the ground. Take a look just a little bit up from there now at Denver DEN and come across to the right to the 9,000 foot level and look at the winds and temperature aloft forecast for Denver. And here the wind is forecast to be from 230 degrees true direction. The speed is forecast to be 21 knots and the temperature is forecast to be minus this time, not plus, a minus 4 degrees Celsius. Now, one way of expressing winds that you do not see on this chart is the way they express it when the winds are forecast to be light and variable. A wind that is forecast to be light and variable is coded in the forecast as 9900. Now the trick is you need to know that light and variable means the wind speed is less than 5 knots. So whenever in a forecast for the winds, you see 9900. That means they're forecasting the winds to be light and variable, and that means that the wind speed will be less than 5 knots.